What next? Factor it. What's the F? Sorry? Uh, not yet. It's a bit too early to do that. Yeah. That's what I would do, too. No, 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 no. You don't want to go there. You got to think friends, okay? Friends are always there for you. One over sine. Squared. Now what? You could, but there's an easier way to do that. I mean, you could, but there's an easier way to do this. Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other. So if you flip this guy, you flip that guy, you flip the other guy. Okay? And now, Hank, you can do what you are suggesting, which is... Well, there's plus root 3 over 2 and minus root 3 over 2. Is everybody okay on that? Right? And now you call on your friends. You call on your friends. Pi over 3. Is everybody with Charlotte on that? Right? Sine 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. Pi over 3 and Charlotte, let's see if you, it's seriously, how's the cards or not now? Seriously. Is that the only answer? Okay. Hang on. I'm waiting for Charlotte. Sorry? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Don't worry. Whoa. Charlotte, the other answer. I'm just looking at the positive one. I'm looking at only at root 3 over 2. Hang on, Connor. Okay, well then, um, second quadrant, and the angle would be? Oh, you don't want to go pi over 2 plus. Yeah. Yeah, you really ought to draw these things. You really ought to draw these things. Because you try and do it in your head, okay, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You really want to draw this. So, you know it's in the second quadrant. You're right about that. So your reference angle is pi over 3. So it's going to be pi minus pi over 3, yeah. which is 2 thirds pi, or 2 pi over 3, either way you want to read it. OK? And now I'm going to pause here for a minute and let you work on four answers. And guess what? You know, there are four answers uh, right now. OK? Uh, so let me draw the uh, answers out for this one here. So it's negative, so it's going to be in Q3 or Q4. Your reference angle is still pi over 3, but the angle you want is this, which is going to be pi plus pi over 3, hence 4 pi over 3. Everybody with me on that? Yeah. Then the other angle is, this is your reference angle, which comes out of your friend's table, but the angle you want is this, which is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 3, which is 5 pi over 3. Okay, everybody get the idea? So, Charlotte, you're absolutely right. You really want to draw these things, okay? Otherwise, you, you won't be able to see them. You really want to draw them. As a matter of fact, I think what I told the fifth period is that before you start any of these problems, since I'm so heavily into the friend's table, Start out by writing the friends table so you don't have to think and kind of picture what it is, okay? Just write it down so it's there in front of you every time, okay? And eventually it will get burnt into your heart one of these days. Yep. Okay, is everybody all right here? Okay, moving on. Okay, next example. Okay? So here are my question to you. What mathematical operation is going on between cosine x and parenthesis cosine x minus 1? What math stuff's going on between those two? 
Connor, you have an answer? It is multiplication. And no, I thought you said something else. You said square root. Well, it's not distributing really. I don't want to distribute that. I really don't want to distribute that. What's the other word for, what's the result of multiplication called? Sorry? You guys remember Thank you. Who's that? I told you that. Haven't I zero product property? Haven't I mentioned that before? Not sure. See, if I had YouTube, I could have gone back and brought that up and kind of stick it in your face. Okay? ZPP. So you're going to use ZPP to make this conclusion. Right? So that means from here, x is equal to. Hell no. What? Radiance, radiance peak. Is that the only one? Cannot be negative angles. Your answer has got to be between 0 and 2 pi. 3 pi over 2. Okay. And from this guy, cosine x equals 1. And your answer is zero. Okay, is everybody all right here? Yeah? Okay. Uh, 